The New York Times recently released a report claiming President Trump paid just $750 in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017 and hasn't paid any tax in 11 of 18 years from the year 2000 until 2018. The report, or investigation as it's being referred to, also claims that he personally owes hundreds of millions of dollars in loans, got a $72.9 million federal tax refund, and has managed to lower his taxes due to significant loss of revenue across his businesses. To no surprise, President Trump has referred to all the claims made by the New York Times as fake news, and considering how he based most of his campaign and brand around being an incredibly successful, wealthy businessman, if these claims turn out to be true, well, Trump's brand may plummet. Today on Life's Biggest Questions, we're doing some digging and looking into Trump's past as we ask, did Donald Trump really only pay $750 in taxes? What's happening, guys? Welcome back to LBQ. I'm your host today, Jared Bronstein, and today's video is certainly a doozy. Before we get into things, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our new channel, Top 10 Central Vibe, which will be premiering its first video on Friday. We made a little trailer for you guys to see what the vibe is all about, so enjoy this. Just like, blup, blup, blup. Oh, and that was for sure poo. This is gonna be Top 10 Central Vibe. Hope you guys like it. It's gonna be starring me, me all the time. We're in the Illuminati. Make sure to check out Top 10 Central Vibe and let them know Jared from LBQ sent you. Also, hey, what's up guys? This is what I look like. Normally do some voiceover on this channel as I'm sure you guys know if you've been a fan of the channel for a while. But now we're doing some little videos so you guys can see my face and uh, I guess talk trash directly to me. Amazing, let's get right into it. So as previously mentioned, the New York Times dropped a huge report claiming that President Trump hasn't really paid much or any of his taxes in almost two decades. Trump has refused to release any of his tax returns publicly, citing that he is being audited by the IRS. Although it has been confirmed that the IRS has been auditing the president with a letter from Trump's tax attorney stating so in 2016, the letter also confirmed that the IRS finished reviewing Trump's taxes from 2002 until 2008. Trump has also claimed that once the audit is finished, he'll gladly show the reports, even though there is no obligation for him to withhold this information, even while being audited. Still, he hasn't released any information regarding his taxes for those years. Trump also denied the claims and reports released by the New York Times, telling reporters he pays a lot in federal income taxes and, I quote, I pay a lot, and I pay a lot in state income taxes. However, as previously mentioned, reports claim that President Trump paid just $750 in taxes in 2016 and 2017. In comparison, former President Presidents Barack Obama and George W. Bush each paid over $100,000 in taxes while in office. Now it's no secret that Trump has made a lot of money over the years from all of his ventures. The hotels, the golf courses, and of course the hit TV show The Apprentice. Now something that a lot of these sources are failing to mention is that President Trump did in fact pay $95 million in taxes over 18 years from 2000 until 2018. However, he got most of his tax money back starting in 2010 after applying and receiving a tax refund of $72.9 million including interest. The IRS began an audit of that refund in 2011, but the case has gone on to remain unsolved for reasons unknown. That being said, the report also claims that President Trump saw significant losses in a lot of his ventures and companies, which is likely why he was able to receive such a large tax refund. In fact, it seems Trump used his losses to counterbalance the money he was due to pay in taxes. The Times report claims Trump made hundreds of millions from The Apprentice and his brand attached to the show, which radiated wealth and success. I quote, while the returns show that he earned some $197 million directly from The Apprentice over 16 years, roughly in line with what he has claimed, they also reveal that an additional $230 million flowed from the fame associated with it. The show's big ratings meant that everyone wanted a piece of the Trump brand, and he grabbed at the opportunity to rent it out. There is $500,000 to pitch double stuff Oreos, another half million to sell Domino's pizza, and $850,000 to push laundry detergent. There were even seven figure licensing deals with hotel builders, some with murky backgrounds, in former Soviet republics and other developing countries. And there were schemes that exploited misplaced trust in the TV version of Mr. Trump, who off camera peddled worthless get quick nostrums like Donald Trump way to wealth seminars that promised initiation into, I quote, the secrets and strategies that have made Donald Trump a billionaire. Now as great as all that is, the report also claimed, I quote, since 2000, he has reported losing more than $315 million at the golf courses that he often describes as the heart of his empire. Now the way taxes work in regards to business is you only pay on your profits, and if Trump really did lose hundreds of millions of dollars thanks to his golf courses, the 400 plus million he made over those 16 years between The Apprentice and the fame that came with it, well, it isn't that much at all. Now from a legal standpoint, Trump 
Well, he hasn't done anything wrong. Although this may be controversial, it's technically not illegal, and businessmen, and truth be told, most citizens, to be honest, constantly find loopholes to reduce the amount of taxes they're obligated to pay. Still, in response to all of this, Trump organization lawyer Alan Garten told the Times that, I quote, most, if not all, of the facts appear to be inaccurate, and requested the documents. The New York Times responded to this claim, saying they will not make Trump's tax data returns public to ensure they don't jeopardize its sources, I quote, who have taken enormous personal risks to help inform the public. As per the paper, the information received does not include Trump's returns for the years of 2018 and 2019. A 2018 New York Times investigation claimed that Trump helped, I quote, his parents dodge taxes in the 90s, accusing them of committing instances of outright fraud. The most recent investigation also highlights how since 2015, a surge of members at Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida paid $5 million a year, and in 2017, the Billy Graham Even Logistic Association paid just under $400,000 to Trump's Washington hotel. In 2016 and 2017, Trump received $3 million from the Philippines, $2.3 million from India, and $1 million from Turkey in projects overseas. But as previously mentioned, so long as you're not profiting a lot of money, there isn't much the government can tax you. That's why write-offs, which include investing in other businesses, are so important for companies, or in this case, Trump. And when I tell you what some of his write-offs included, well, the man is pretty much getting away with murder here. As per a National Post article, I quote, Trump's residences are part of the family business, including his golf courses. The cost of his private aircraft, used to take him to his homes around the country, has been written off as a business expense. Haircuts were also written down as a business expense, including $70,000 to style his hair during his reality TV show, and $100,000 paid to the hair and makeup artist of his daughter, Ivanka Trump. Now, I'm not sure how you could claim $170,000 in write-offs for you and your daughter's hair and makeup, but goddamn do I need this man's accountant come tax season. Still, as per CNN, I quote, he took out a $100 million mortgage on the commercial space at Trump Tower in 2012 and has yet to pay off any of the principal, even though the loan is set to come due in 2022. In fact, Trump's total debt obligation, most of which will come due sometime in the next four years, is $421 million, according to the Times. Since 2019, House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Richard Neal has been pushing for Trump to to release his tax information. Speaking on the Times report, he said, I quote, today's report underscores the importance of the Ways and Means Committee's ongoing lawsuit to access Mr. Trump's tax returns and ensure the presidential audit program is functioning effectively without improper influence. I remain confident that the law is on the committee's side and that our request meets the standard the Supreme Court set with its July 2020 rulings. Our case is very strong and we will ultimately prevail. Although nothing has been ruled official as of yet, it seems given the upcoming election, this whole investigation may actually end up hurting Trump's chances of a re-election unless he decides to show what he's been holding out for so long. Does that mean he's done anything illegal? As of this recording, no, but if it turns out that he's been trying to find ways to avoid paying taxes when people making significantly less money than he does are paying more than he is, well, that definitely ain't a good look for him at all. And to no surprise, the Sharks have been going where they smell blood, which is why Kate Bettingfield, campaign manager of presidential candidate Joe Biden, told CNN, I quote, you have in Donald Trump, a president who spends his time thinking about how he could work his way out of paying taxes, of meeting the obligation that every other working person in this country meets every year. With Joe Biden, you have somebody who has a completely different perspective on what it means to be a working family in this country. John Kasich, former Ohio Republican governor, also chimed in well on CNN saying, there are people out there and I know I come from blue collar hardworking. These folks are scraping to make a living and they're going to wake up and find out this incredible mogul paid $750. I don't care what his excuses are, it doesn't pass the smell test. The smell test, it most certainly does not pass my friend. No siree. So to wrap this one up for you guys, did President Donald Trump really only pay $750 in taxes? Yes, no, and no one could say for sure. Technically speaking, he paid $95 million over the 18 years, but recouped most of the money thanks to the $72.9 million tax refunded, which included interest. The New York Times article with anonymous sources claimed that in 2016 and 2017, he did only pay $750 in taxes. However, to no surprise, Trump's team is denying this and requesting they show the returns, and the New York Times is refusing to do so. As has been the case with most investigations looking into Trump, there's a lot of allegations and claims being made from anonymous sources, but no one can reveal any proof. Big old game of he said, she said. It's a little suspicious this report drops right around the time voting for re-election starts, but they've been trying to get his taxes since his first day in office. So, mm, I don't know who to believe anymore, guys. As always, let us know your thoughts on this one down below. And if you guys enjoy our new way of doing things, where you guys could obviously see us. I know, it's weird for me too. But I will say, guys, can't wait to see all the awful things you guys have to say about me, assuming you didn't know what I looked before. And I'm sure it'll make for some great comment replies moving forward. So, so let me have it, guys. Let's just go ahead. 
Give me your worst. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. What if Cyberpunk 2077 was a PS5 exclusive? The Boom Cave said, we're surviving COVID only for this. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess this is the only reason why we're all trying to, you know, wear masks and stop the spread for this game. So I agree, it'd be, it'd be pretty upsetting. Or if you play Xbox, if you play PlayStation, who cares? I'm an Xbox guy though, so it would suck. Great World said, what if Walt Disney was alive today? I think Disney would be doing a hundred times better than they currently are, to be honest with you. I think uh, after the originals just leave, or die. Like I think Apple ever since Steve Jobs went away was just so I think I think Disney would just be like way better than it already is. Jablo Blue said the short answer is they would lose a lot of money. Would they though? Because like maybe PlayStation would just make a lot of money. So who knows? Anyways guys that's all for this one. I've been your host Jared Bronstein. Let us know if you guys enjoyed these new uh, you know hosts on the camera. You guys can see my face. I still can't see what you guys look like so you guys could talk a bunch of shit and I just gotta stand here and take it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, like this is this is this is the voice you've been hearing for all these years for the past year. All right, the year. Uh, what a great start to the video, eh? Just the year. Fifty dollars in federal in. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> Cross his businesses. I feel like I should take businesses again, shouldn't I? Yeah, that was rough, eh? I talk my hands a lot though. I do this a lot. I'll figure it out. I just thought a train was coming, that's why I stopped. Pizza, an 80, mm. uh, I was gonna say schemes. Who says nostrums? <laughs> what kind of word is that? Even angelistic, even angelistic. It's such a okay. And in 2017, the Billy Graham even angelistic. <laughs> just gonna speed right through that one. And in 2017, the Billy Graham even angelistic. Uh, and, and in 2017, the Billy Graham even angelistic. We're just gonna roll with that one. I don't even care if it's wrong. It's fine, they'll know what I'm talking about or they'll make fun of me for it and I'm okay with that too. Speaking of the Times report, he said, I quote, today's report, <laughs> man. It's like a lot of pressure being on camera for LBQ now, you know what I mean? I know. I just feel like they're gonna just yeah, chirp, chirp the out of me now.